Welcome back to the Full Sail Showdown. I'm your host, Noah Shamami, joined by Miles Mahasik and Noah Latch. And guys, we're kind of doing a, a joint uh, joint league thing with the WWE and UFC. And Noah, what was your number one takeaway from Michael Chandler calling out Conor McGregor? It's on brand. That's exactly who Michael Chandler is. He came into the UFC, and what did he do after his first win just two years ago? Makes an impression of an old Steve Austin, Steve Cold Austin uh, meme, and you know goes saying uh, one of his old classic lines. So I think this is right on brand. I mean, McGregor hasn't fought in a couple years. He's been asking for this fight for well over a year. They did the Ultimate Fighter show just six months ago. So this is a fight he not only deserves, but I think he has showed us that he wants it. Well, who the heck is Michael Chandler? He isn't a proven <laughs> name like Conor McGregor. He isn't, he isn't this type of fighter that McGregor is. Three different weight classes that McGregor fought in, winning two of them, the first to ever do it. What, why should McGregor waste his time on this? I mean, the, the King's time is valuable. He's been doing lots of different things, but that, that's the key point is he's been doing other things. He hasn't been fighting. He hasn't fought since 2021. Uh, he's fought four times since 2017. He's one in three. He got finished in all three of those losses. Who was his win over? Donald Cerrone? Oh, guess what? He's retired now, by the way, if you were curious. I mean, it, 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 McGregor's just a money fight. It, everybody wants to see him watch it. Uh, Chandler's fought everybody at the top of the lightweight division. Why not give it to him? He's an explosive, exciting fighter. When, when Chandler grabbed that mic, he said he was the most entertaining UFC fighter on the planet. Michael Chandler said this. You can hear Pat McAfee in the background saying, oh boy, because he knows it's not true. Michael Chandler, I, I don't think he can square off with Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, I just should, I think, should not waste his time with Michael Chandler. I don't know. I think you and Pat McAfee are exposing your hand there by saying that. I think it's quite clear to most active UFC fans that Michael Chandler really is a top five explosive fighter in the division. This is a guy that walks forward every single fight. He just wants to throw huge haymakers, and he doesn't care if he gets finished or if he finishes you. He just wants the fight to be over as quick as possible. And that's a guy people want to watch. That's exciting. We've seen McGregor in the boxing ring, octagon. You know, is there a possibility we will see him in the wrestling ring, his next fight for the WWE or in the UFC? The only time that we'll see him in one of these again will be in a movie, okay? <laughs> Conor McGregor can do whatever the heck he wants. Yeah, give me started. He, <laughs> he's oh, obviously doing Roadhouse with Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, movie's coming out in a couple months. But he's Conor McGregor. Dropped one of the most iconic lines that I want to take this moment to apologize to absolutely nobody. <laughs> Conor McGregor <laughs> is that guy. I, he can do what he wants, whether it's Octagon or fighting in WWE. Personally, I don't care. I want to see him do something, though. I, I don't disagree. Could we see Conor McGregor in the wrestling ring? Yeah, we, we probably could. But are we? No, I mean, we can't even get him in the Octagon for a UFC fight. I already mentioned that. This dude owns one of like 50 Lamborghini yachts in the world. And guess what? He's just going to be chilling on it until the end of time. So I, I, I think there's no chance we ever see him in the WWE. I think we'll be lucky if we even get two or three more fights out of him in the UFC. I mean, they've been trying to schedule his fight for almost 18 months now. He broke his leg in his last fight. That was in 2021. It's 2024 now. His leg's fine. It's ready. To, it's time to fight. Where are you? Connor. Connor. Connor, where are you? <laughs> Connor! I, I, think, I think if he were to fight, it would be in the WWE just because that's probably less demanding on the body. Obviously, UFC, you take so many blows to the head. You have to deal with concussions and other head injuries. You mentioned his leg injury. The safest bet for him would be the, uh, to wrestle in the WWE as opposed to the octagon with the UFC. But again... We just want to see him do something. I'm happy I can see him do some movies, so at least I get to see him in something. But this man is a champion. I don't think he has to prove anything to anybody. He can go out there in the WWE, have some fun. Now, now we're here. Now you got me. Now I agree with you. This guy, like you said, doesn't have to do anything. 
And I, I agree. It, maybe it is a better fit for him. Obviously, he can bring his massive fan base over to the WWE. He's already a performer. He's an entertainer. That's what the WWE is all about. So I think it could be a perfect fit for him. Thing is getting him to do something. It's getting him off that yacht. It's getting him to be active. So we'll see if the WWE can do it. Obviously, they're under a new partner ownership with Endeavor, but I don't see it happening. Thank you guys for tuning in on the McGregor saga. Will he fight in the WWE or in the Octagon again? Thank you guys for joining, and thank you for watching the Full Sail Showdown.